Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Catherine with A Perfect Place to Start and today I have five Dollar Tree watermelon DIYs that are easy to make and super cute for the summer season. So let's get started. For this project, we're gonna start out with a 12 inch wreath form from the Dollar Tree and I'm using some wire cutters and I'm just going to cut this wreath form in half. Next, we're gonna take some mesh that came from the Dollar Tree. You can find these colors in their regular crafting area, so they should be available all year. I'm just using a regular ruler. I measure my mesh out to be about five inches, and then I cut it and I just put it into a grouping like you can see above the ruler. I'm gonna do this for the entire bundle. Some people use rotary cutters to get a straight line. I don't really worry about it. I use a rolling technique to do my wreaths, and so it really doesn't matter if they're even or not on the ends. Next, I'm going to take some pipe cleaners. These were just some that I have left over. If you want to have all matching colors, you can. You can actually see it when you're done with the wreath, so for me, it doesn't ever really matter. But I'm just going to bend it in half and cut it in half. Um, I only use half of the pipe cleaner per bundle. Some people use a full pipe cleaner. It kind of depends on, you know, your mobility and if you have, you know, problems with your hands when you get to the back to tie it off. So to start the wreath, I'm just going to take three of the pieces of the green mesh and I'm going to roll them up into a bundle and then I'm going to secure them with the pipe cleaner. As you can see off to the left, I have some ribbon. I decide not to use the green ribbon in the wreath itself. I do use it towards the end along with that polka dot ribbon, but we are gonna use the white ribbon and the buffalo check ribbon. So after every third bundle on our wreath form, I'm going to put a group of ribbon and I'm just putting it together just like the bundles. So I take a pipe cleaner and I tie it off in the middle and then after every third bundle, like I said, I put a grouping of the ribbon. I'm gonna do that on the bottom two rings of the wreath form. So here it is all completed. It's about nine bundles of green mesh per little section of the wreath, and then it would be three groups of the ribbon. Then I'm gonna do that. I did the exact same thing with the pink uh, mesh that I did with the green mesh, and I'm using this polka dotted black ribbon for the inside of the watermelon. I'm going to be doing the top two uh, sections, I guess, of the wreath the exact same way. So I'm rolling three pieces of the mesh up and then grouping it together using a pipe cleaner and then attaching it to the wreath form. I ended up using three packages of the green and only two packages of the pink because it's a little bit less of a semicircle towards the top of the wreath. So I'm just doing the same thing, grouping them in groups of three, attaching it to the wreath form. After every third grouping, I put a bundle of the black and white polka dotted ribbon with a black ribbon on top to kind of replicate the seeds and then I'm going to do that along the whole top section. So for the bow for this wreath, I'm deciding to do a crisscross bow. I've never done that for a wreath before, so I thought I would check this out since this is kind of an unconventional um, shape of a wreath anyway. So I'm just laying the ribbons on top of each other. I used a piece of twine and tied it off and then I'm using some of my buffalo check ribbon to go around the middle. Then I took a full pipe cleaner, glued it underneath part of the ribbon that's in the middle there. Um, I hot glued it and then I'm going to um, fish that through part of the wreath and onto the back of the wreath form and tie it off in the back so it's secure. So once I get it all tied off in the back, I'm just gonna fluff it out a little bit um, and I just kind of manipulate it just so that I have it as fluffy as I can get. For the center of my bow, I'm going to glue a button. I've been holding on to this button for a while till I could find something to go with it and it just fits perfect here in the middle of my bow. So I'm gonna glue that on and then I take a pink button and I glue that on top of the green button and then this project is complete. You better be there when 
and I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. So today's video is part of a scavenger hunt. To qualify for this scavenger hunt giveaway, you need to watch all the videos in the hunt and comment, collect all the secret words from each video, and once you've collected all the words, you're gonna email the words to diyscavengerhunt at gmail.com. We will draw the winner from the correct emails two weeks from the video release and we'll announce the winner in our community tab and Instagram. Good luck. For this project, I'm using these doilies. They're paper doilies that I picked up at the Dollar Tree over in the party section. I'm just going to use the medium and small ones. I'm folding them in half and then I'm gonna cut them in half so I have a slice of watermelon. I am going to do eight of each of them, so two doilies per size. And then um, I don't end up using quite all eight of the doilies, but I wanted to make sure I had enough. So once I have it cut in half, I'm going to take some green paint and I'll list down in the description box all the things that I use for today's projects. But I'm going to take this green paint and I'm just going to use a chippy brush and I'm going around um, just the edges of the piece to give it the green rind of the watermelon. As I did each of these pieces, I kind of learned something new <laughs> for each time I was making one, but you want to make sure that after you do like a grouping of paint, then you lift up the doily because it gets really stuck to what's ever underneath. And this is a pretty messy project, so make sure you have something underneath what you're painting. So I took some like yellow green paint and then went on top of the green for that part of the watermelon and then we're using my pink paint to go over the middle to give us the actual watermelon pieces. Once I have that all painted and dried, I'm ready to add my seeds with some ink by Waverly Chalk Paint. And by the way, seeds are my secret word for today's video. So all I'm doing is I'm dipping my paintbrush into the end of the paintbrush and the black paint and I'm just putting dots in the pink part to represent the seats. I'm going to do that for each of the eight pieces that I cut apart and then I will come back to show you how I assembled the banner. So I'm using some leftover nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. You could use twine, you could use string, whatever you have on hand. I tied a hefty knot on each side and undid it so it had kind of a tassel look. Then I'm going just to take my regular hot glue. Make sure you're using some kind of finger protector if you have hot, hot glue like I do because this is paper and there are holes in the doily so sometimes the glue will come through. So I'm just pressing down on my paper. I do flip over the banner and kind of glue it on the other side as well. Then I'm going to take this polka dotted ribbon that came from the Dollar Tree and then some white grogain ribbon that also came from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to tie them next to each piece of the banner. So I do a polka dotted, a white, and then a polka dotted again. Then I'm ready to glue my smaller size watermelon piece on next. And I'm just gonna complete the same steps using one large watermelon piece and then one smaller watermelon piece until I get to the end of the nautical rope. Once I get to the end, then this project is complete.
you're coming over to my channel from the hop, welcome. I'm Catherine with The Perfect Place to Start. I do seasonal decor, Dollar Tree DIYs, home decor, and thrift to treasure. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you went down, hit the subscribe button, and became a part of my YouTube family. For this project, I'm using one of those wooden cutting boards from the Dollar Tree. I'd never used one before, this is my first time ever finding them. And when I took it out of the wrapper, it smelled really weird. Let me, let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever used one of these and if it smelled weird to you. <laughs> After I got it all painted with my green paint, I'm going to use this gift bag that I also got at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to trace it and cut it out. My friend picked me up one of these Sharpie gel pens and I'm telling you, these are the most amazing pens ever. <laughs> Run out and get one. So once I have that all cut out, I'm just going to use my regular glue stick. I find sometimes that paper glues to wood just fine and it doesn't give you all the bubbles. Once I get it glued onto the wood piece, I'm just using my sanding block from the Dollar Tree. I'm going around the edges just to get any excess paper. And then I'm going to do another messy bow. So I'm just using white ribbon, a green polka dot ribbon, and a black and white polka dot ribbon. And I'm just crisscrossing it and tying it off in the middle. I like to complete my crisscross bows, if you haven't noticed, with a piece of material in the middle. I think that it adds a little bit more, um, I don't know, high end look to it, I guess. It just looks more finished to me, but if you like it with just the twine in the middle, you can definitely leave it like that. Once I get that all completed, I'm going to glue it up to the top corner of this project, and then it is complete. For this project, I'm using a Dollar Tree picture frame and some masking tape, and I just measured about the half of the frame, and I put a piece of tape there. I'm going to paint the top of the frame with my pink um, acrylic paint, and I will list the colors down in the description box, but I'm just going to cover the entire top with the pink paint. So once I have that painted, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bottom of the frame and I'm still using the masking tape and I'm going to tape off some lines on the bottom of the frame. I'm using a piece of masking tape in between the lines to give it an even spacing between each set of lines and then I'm going to be using my dark green paint to paint one set of lines and the light green paint to paint the other set of lines. Now that I'm done painting, I'm going to go ahead and add some buttons to the pink part and those are going to represent our seeds of the watermelon. I decided it still needed a little something so I took that same polka dotted green ribbon and I'm going to glue it down the middle of the dark green stripes and then I'm going to use a white ribbon bow just tied as a shoelace bow and dovetailed at the ends. I'm going to glue it into the right hand corner and then this project is complete.
If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. For this project we're going to be using one of those crates from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using some pink acrylic paint on one stripe of the crate, some dark green acrylic paint on another stripe of the crate, and then the light green paint on another part of the crate. This is to represent the watermelon. Once I have those painted, I'm going to take this luggage tag and a piece of this white ribbon. I'm going to glue the ribbon around the crate and then I'm going to take the luggage tag, which also came from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to glue it onto the middle of the ribbon. I thought about putting some wording onto the right hand side, but decided it would look too cluttered since the watermelon is quite large and there's not a lot of space left on the other side of the crate. So I chose to just leave it blank. I'm going to take some farmhouse ribbon from the Dollar Tree, tie a shoelace bow, and glue it up where the luggage tag connects. And then I'm gonna take some green and white polka dot ribbon and another shoelace bow and glue that on top of the farmhouse bow. I do dovetail the ends of both ribbons and then I take a button and I glue it into the middle of the ribbons and then this project is complete. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the projects. Don't forget to comment on this video before you go and then click on that playlist to collect all of the other secret words so that you can email them and have a chance to win that $300 cash prize. As always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start and I will see you guys in the next video.